Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a mixed media project full of fun and love in a Tim Holtz reliquary dome. These domes are great for using for all your mixed media projects. They are wide enough to fit a nice large die cut like I'll be using for this piece. The large die that I'm using is the Love You and this is a fancy Love You which is really beautiful with its swirls. It's a two-piece die and I've cut the shadow piece out using some princess cardstock from Rainbow Splash. And I've also added one layer of the Love You die cut in white. And I'm going to add another layer on top just to give it a little bit of a dimension. And to adhere these two layers together, I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. I'm just adding small dots of glue to the back. And then I can place this right on top of the first layer and make sure I have everything lined up before the glue dries. I'm going to be painting a couple of toothpicks with some Dina Wakely white gesso. And this is just so that they'll match the rest of the piece when it's all put together. These toothpicks are a little long for my project, so I'm going to clip these down using my wire clippers. And now I'm adding some of my Simon Says Stamp glue to the back of my die cut piece. And I can put my toothpicks in the back. And these will act as little posts when I go to stick them into the cork of the base of the dome. Next, I've done some die cutting with the Love Bulb. And this is a really cute little die. I've put about four layers together for the base. And I've also cut one out using the Simon Says Stamp Silver Matte Cardstock. This is a really beautiful silver paper, and this will be the top layer. I'm also going to cut just the heart only from some crimson cardstock. This is by Rainbow Splash. And I'm just going to cut a small square so that I can just cut that heart out by itself. With all my pieces cut, I can now assemble these, and I'm going to glue these onto a piece of vellum from Simon Says Stamp. And once again, to adhere these pieces together, I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and just add a fine bead glue to the back of my stack of bulbs. Before I set this down onto the vellum, I'm going to pat it with a paper towel just to remove some of the larger blobs of glue so they won't squeeze out to the center of the bulb. And then I can place this directly onto the vellum. Next, I'll be adding the red heart to the center of the bulb. And this is really easy and a great reason to have that vellum sitting behind because I can press this right into the inside without it falling through. And then I can add my final layer of the silver piece on top and I'll set this aside to let it dry. And using my detail scissors, I'm going to just trim around the outside of the bulb so that I have one solid piece. At this point, I'm ready to do some assembly, and I'm just using the tip of my scissors to create a couple holes so my toothpicks can be wedged in there to hold my die cut in place. And now I can place those in and get that set up for the next step. I've got my hot glue gun all hot and ready, and now I'm just adding some hot glue to the base of those toothpicks to make sure that they're sturdy. Next, I'm going to add some hot glue just to the lower left corner of my light bulb. And I'll be placing this directly onto the die cut right above the U on the bottom layer of the word. So once that's cooled, it will look like this where everything is all together. Okay, I had some leftover stuffing from some gift bags and stuff from Christmas. And I thought this would be perfect to use and recycle for this project. So I've pulled out a manageable amount and I'm adding some glue gun on top of that cork and I'm going to make sure I get a little bit inside my die cut. And now I can press the crinkle paper right into that glue. And then I can do the same for the back side. I have another manageable amount. I've added my glue and I'll press this paper right down into that glue. And once I have all my paper in place, I can use my Simon Says Stamp Everyday Scissors, and I'll give this a little bit of a haircut. For a fun effect, I am adding some tiny lights, and I've kind of pulled them apart, but I didn't pull them apart all the way. I still have them coiled, 
So I've added a little bit of hot glue right to the side of the cork, and this is where the thin wire will sit. The rest of the thicker wire is sitting underneath my thumb. I have fiddled around with my lights just a little bit, and now I want to add a little bit of glue and secure the wire to the back of the light bulb and also my die cut. So I'm just holding this in place, and I'm going to add some glue, just a nice solid part of the light bulb. As if the lights weren't enough to create some fun, I'm also going to add some confetti to inside the dome. And this Love Polymer Mix is from This Calls for Confetti, and they're really nice tiny little polymer pieces. Right now I'm just cutting and opening the bag. But there's little hearts and letters and X's and O's and little dots. And I'm just adding a whole bunch to the bottom of this dome. With my dome sitting upside down, I'm going to start feeding the lights first into the dome, just being really careful and getting everything tucked in as I go. I did add a little bit of hot glue around the bottom and also some ribbon, but here's how my little light up piece looks. I have lots of confetti. You can turn it upside down and forward and back and really mix up those confettis. And you can also turn on the light on and off for an extra glow. I hope you've enjoyed my project. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at SimonSaysStamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.